Okay. The, uh, it's interesting because you know I always started, in, initiated the swing with a right kick. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're trying to take that out and go like this. Okay. And it's, that's interesting. It is interesting, <laughs> changing in pattern, right? Now remember, you, you, get, you get very much into your grip and then you get a little close to things, okay? So slightly higher handle. And just share with me what, what uh, Mike's been working with you on. Okay, for, you know, we, we got better connected again. My, a little bit better math here. Yeah, my, my, right, my right arm was getting a little, little away from me. Okay. And that stuff, and coming in and basically getting in here tight, and what I'm doing is... Let me, let me, yeah. let me just fix something here. Okay. I'm holding this there on purpose, okay? Yeah. Because it, I want it to be... Oh, you want more of a trigger grip on it? Right, and see where I took that index finger? Mm -hmm. Let me explain. So what I just saw was a grip that is way too much, it isn't enough in the crook. So see that shape, a question mark of my right index finger? And see how that fits the knuckle. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's a top right quadrant here, right, you. you know, that knuckle fits on the top right quadrant, not under, because I'm seeing a thumb that's farther down than this. Okay. So when you look at a really, really good looking pair of golf hands on a grip, you're, the, the thing that's farthest down the grip, mm -hmm. it would be the underside of that index finger wrapped under, mm -hmm. providing a sliver of trigger finger, but also, more importantly, a little bit more surface area on the back of the grip. Okay. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So go ahead and stand in here. Don't make fun. I'm going to do it to you next. Good. Now show me. Okay. That a boy, that a boy. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, okay. and then slightly higher handle so that you get a bit more room. Because yeah, what I'm doing, what I'm doing is, as I'm, 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 so that I'm not dropping down to come back. Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm coming in here, making sure that I'm upright. A little bit more. Good. Hands look nice. In that, and then, then, then taking this. But here's the checkpoint that I really like that he gave me is if I'm nice and natural down here. Yeah. Then I can do this. Okay. It comes right back to where it should be. Okay. The other thing is roll, rolling this in. Go ahead and hit one. Okay. That's all right. Yep. You missed. You just hit it in the neck. You're a little close to it. Yep. Here you go. Hit another shot. Let's go. A few in a row. Hands look beautiful, beautiful hands. Okay, so it's okay. So here's here's what I'm mm -hmm. seeing. Mm -hmm. I'm loving, and just be mindful when I talk. I need the camera to see yeah. me, right? You're not going to get the quality. So stand right here. Here, here's what I'm seeing, is a lot of acceleration from this strong right forearm and hand of yours. You see what I mean? A lot of acceleration from there. So this shot, now I'll be right back. So here is a, called a pitch grip. It's basically a grip that's designed to one, give you a bit of trigger finger, and then give you a fake left thumb to fill the void of your right palm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. So I'm seeing a lot of acceleration from here. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that if we fix your pitching, you're, oh my gosh, you're going to be phenomenal, okay? So we're going to come back to this in a second. And you're doing a much, but you're not so bent over. You get the club in a better spot. I love all this. So I think the trigger finger of your right hand looks really good. Now this shot, this little pitch shot, you know, and I'd say this is a little on the too far side to hit a, to pitch it into that den caddy from here. But, you know, being that I've done this a few times, let's see how I do. Not bad, right? 9.5. 9.5? Okay, the Russian judge, if you get a 9.5 and then you're, in, you're not Russian, you're doing good. But see, what you can't see with a human eye is how the inside influences the outside. 
So at address, my right wrist is relatively flat. When you inspire it into a backswing, guess what you're creating? Some bend. Mm -hmm. the, the momentum of slinging a club back by the inside inspiring the outside creates a condition there, doesn't it? Okay. Well, that bent condition is transported to and through impact. Now, I don't think this right wrist isn't flattening. It is. But it's a sequence of events how the inside kind of leads, uh, leads the outside and the ball is collected before this right wrist flattens. Does that make sense? Okay, so we've got, this is perfect for you because it's a cut down pitching wedge, basically for where the right hand goes. Mm -hmm. okay. See what I mean? And it's a tour striker head, so you're going to learn how to take oh, this I've got, flangey. I've, I've got both of those. Cool, well. Use, use them a bunch. Thank you. So you're going to take this rounded piece and, and go ahead and feel what it's like to let that right wrist bend back. Mm -hmm and drag and overtake. So see when I'm in this position right here? Watch my right wrist in the finish. I'll hit a short little shot. So what am I looking at right here? I'm looking at the back of my hand, not my palm. See the difference? Mm -hmm. So hitting this little right hand only shot, and let me do it a little toward the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. So as I collect this ball, now when I'm done here, where am I looking? I'm looking kind of over a bent, rotated right forearm that, guess what? I'm not trying to make a ball go straight. Straight was, a, mm -hmm. uh, it was a, an element of the collision, wasn't it? So come on over here. So give me that big right mid of yours. So this index finger kind of wraps there. That pinky goes there. So there is a triggery finger deal, right? Mm -hmm. Good. So now the inside moving the outside creates a right wrist here. Mm -hmm. The inside helps deliver this and when you're done, ah, see where you're trying to go here, buddy? Mm -hmm. You're trying like, you just tried to go this way. Mm -hmm. And when I'm done, guess what I'm looking at? Yep. This. Yep. So I'm gonna hold you here for a second. Believe it or not, Sam, once we fix this, we're getting you, we're getting you fixed. So let me do this again. No, 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 no. Let me move you again. I oh, apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. No, I used the wrong language. Okay. Canadian? I use Canadian okay, on you. Okay. okay. So your inside mm -hmm. will inspire the weight of the club to bend this. Mm -hmm. As we work through impact, uh, 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 you know, so oh, okay. I keep seeing you try to artificially flatten and that's problematic. Okay. Here's the weight of this thing, collects the ball, doink, and when you're done, you're looking down there and you're aware that you can see the back of what? Yeah. Your right hand. Okay, so Good. Is... Good. Okay, so, so the right forearms is that pronating? Well, you, you, it's yeah, pronating. You know, but it's not. You're not purposely trying to flash it over there. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and let that ball get collected for me at the bottom, please. Okay. Ah, just and stop long enough to I see did, your right form. Good. I did, I did, so hit yeah. one good batter and different for me, please, and hold. And hold. Yeah, I turned it underneath. You see? Mm -hmm. Good. Are you ready to suffer for a few minutes? You betcha. Good. Because let's learn how to let the inside move the outside. There's that bent wrist on the way to flattening, mm -hmm. but also here's how we fluidly decelerate into a condition where hitting these little one-handed pitch shots, I'm looking over at my forearm over a bent trail wrist, okay? Good. Let's see you do it. Or not. And then when you don't, fix it. And that's what I'm looking for. The ability, ah, 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 yep. right? It's got to come up and I got to Yes. Place. Excellent. Go ahead. Good try, bud. Good try. 